we're back. What's beyond the lever door? Uh, nothing, because we're not going to open it yet. Stay there. I was, I was, I was, she was so close to her head there, her hair is really well textured. <laughs> we need to look at her head. It looks pretty good. Yeah. It's okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> That's what you do with the door. Good, good. And now you push this crate. And then you dance. You know what? I think that would break that crate. Nah, it's fine. It's a really strong crate. Uh, it didn't work. Don't worry about it. Moira can take it. Moira, permanently blind now. Awesome. Nah, she'll recover from it. She just needs some Ow. alcohol. See? She's fine. That would really hurt. Like... She only needed a ruby to heal her up. <laughs> oh, she's a gold digger. <laughs> Moira heals with jams. She just eats eats jams. My Kanye West knowledge just intensified. I think that was Kanye West. It was Kanye East. Someone in the comments let me know if Gold Digger was by Kanye West or not. Wow. Look at metal. You don't like me you don't like music, so I hate everything. You hate everything. Ironically you love JoJo, but you hate music. Yeah. Headshot. Good job. Yeah. After missing. <laughs> Ten points. Nine points. Ten points. You can destroy these things with a flashlight. Oh, that's so cool. Because they, in various campaigns, they become basically mines. Hmm. Yeah. So is there yeah, let's go. Th or? Let's go through the blue door. The magic door. But we want to go through the red door so we can go into the matrix. Yeah. We don't need to be in the matrix. If you go through the blue door, we'll just wake up. So see, we have two shotguns now. Can you dual wield them? No. Aww. This is not Borderlands 2. <laughs> Dang it. I want to play Borderlands 2, but I have no reason to. Two. Fun fact <laughs> fun fun fact about John. I uh I'm that guy who like does everything in Borderlands minus DLC. I'm not gonna pay ten trillion dollars for DLC, but I did everything in that game. Cause mm -hmm. it's a good game. Is it crazy? Look at this Russian memo. Our Zabijat is almost like completely different babushka now. There's new equipment in the Klashkinikovs. Such ingrates. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? I don't know why I thought that's so funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, by the way, Zabiti means forgotten. Ah, oh, okay. Zab Did you say Zabiti? No. What did you say? I'm, I don't speak Italian. Zabit. I apologize. Well, uh, the way they write it is Zabiti, but it's, it's Zabiti. Oh, well. Zabit, Zabiti, okay. Uh, well, it's fine. It's Capcom. I'll forgive them, I guess, for that. You'll, forg you'll forgive them because you love them so much. I, I love this game. And also, I love how the fact that they took care of this copyright claim on this video so fast. <laughs> Yeah, like, get out of here, Korean Let's Player guys. Thanks, Capcom. Uh, no, I don't think it was, like, the Koreans' fault. Ball. It was just probably a YouTube automated system, you know, being dumb as, as always. No, it was the Koreans. Yeah. Okay, look at this shit. This is Russian as fuck. This is, like, old Soviet kind of style uh, thingy. Like, if you, if you ever go to an old Soviet building, you will see something like this. Like those uh those mailboxes because you see those yeah. in apartments all the time. Uh, no, but that kind of that specific style, I, I just don't know. They just remind me so much of that kind of building. Um, that that drill icon though. Yeah. Huh. It's like someone will go here with a drill later, and open up the door. Also, I miss pathetically. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. That was the worst shot I've ever. <laughs> <laughs> no jumping for you, motherfucker. How do you like my shotgun to your nuts style? It's Good okay. job. He's dead. I miscalculated a bit. I'll admit that. And you're really upset. I hate him. <laughs> I made when him o really upset. When Oleg hates things, he cuts them. I just got really emo. <laughs> I hate myself, Dad. 
dad won't buy me this, like, dad bought me the wrong iPhone, so now I'm going to break it to pieces. Yeah. Fuck you, dad. That's how you deal with problems. Yeah. By saying fuck you, dad. Yep. Oh, also... <laughs> no. How else would you deal with them? Yeah. True. I don't know why I dropped that bottle. You're like, eh, you need a brick instead. <laughs> There's no bricks. For more right. Anyone who says bottle over brick, get out of my face. Yeah. Fuck off. <gasps> wait a second. Hey, wait. A little girl. We were playing someone earlier who had a little girl with them. No. Huh. Huh. I feel like... I feel like... That little girl looks awfully familiar. It's okay. Don't be scared. No. What's your name? Where are you from? What's your name? Where are you from? Where are you? Calm down, Claire. You're not good with children. <laughs> no, she is. She was really good with Sherry in Resident Evil 2. Sure, that's why Claire, Claire's just going to ready your shotgun and aim it at the little girl. Yeah, they're sisters. Moira. Sisters of the fucked up clan. Moira, super good with kids. What's your friend's name? Yeah. Well, she has a little sister, so she should be. You're both so... I have a lot of questions. I, uh, I just... Okay, so... Come on. She survived six months on this island by herself. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, because that's the implication that's being made, or the one that you explained to me. Uh, yeah, it actually gets explained in one of the extra episodes, so you'll have to oh, okay. wait until we get there. Awesome. You're a brave hmm. girl. You passed an item. Nah, it's fine. We don't need it. Uh, no, you passed it, though. <laughs> no, we don't need it. Don't worry about it. Let it be known that on this day, Oleg passed up an item. He just missed it. I was just going forward. Shame forever brought to our nation. Did you hear that, you hear that they, though? Yeah. That rumbling in the ceiling? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I heard it. I heard the rumbling. Oh, the subtitles are not showing that amazing line. So, Mora said shit stains, and she went, then she said, sorry, it's butt stains. <laughs> because of the little girl. Yeah, that's cute. And you know what we do to butt stains. You know what we do to bubble blowers. Honestly, I don't. I'm not really sure what to do to butt stains. You know what we do to bubble blowers. Every bubble blowing baby will be beaten senseless by every member of the bar. With a bubble. <laughs> no, with our fists. No, with bubbles. Multiple bubbles. No bubble blowing baby can resist the Goofy Goober song. Yeah. I watched that movie recently. Slenderman. <laughs> no, it's Kafka. It's Slender Kafka. Also, the girl, the girl in the posters really, really resembles Natalia. She's also everywhere. They really reuse that a lot. Yeah, they really like it. I hope you enjoy arena fights. Um, sometimes they can be decent. Sometimes. Well, this is an arena fight. If you ever see one. <laughs> if I've ever seen an arena, well. I saw, um... I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. Nobody knows. It's a mystery. You got this. You got this. Oh! Whew. That was close. Yeah! Yeah, if you, if you get them, um... In the thing behind, on their backs, that's their most weakest point. Their other weak point is the big red thing on their chest. Uh, okay, you got some sick, like, combo skill going on here. Like, that one was nothing. Didn't even touch you. Yeah. Gotta well, admit. Bit impressed. Well then, I should just leaving. Let's just go. <laughs> we had a good time. Goodbye. Uh, it's okay, Just it's just a welcome blubber. I'm sorry, what did you just say to me? It's a welcome blubber. That's their name. That was really cool, actually, how he stuck the torch in there and then shot a cannonball at you. Yeah. Neat. He's a mini-boss. That's why this chapter with Claire is the hardest, because you have the cabin thing, then you have to escape from Pedro. 
Is it bad that I mine? Is it bad that I mine this less than I mine Pedro? Reasonable. This is a mini boss. This is not a boss boss. Yeah. There's a recurrent enemy throughout the game. Oh, cool. Hope they start dual wielding cannons later. Maybe. Duo wield. Dual cannon. Oh, thought she was dead. <laughs> no, he can charge you from behind. Dang. His hand, his cannon deals an insane amount of damage, though. Yeah, I figured. So one of the biggest problems with this room, okay? It, I think it's a bug. I I don't think this is intentional. There's no way this is intentional. And that is, uh, until there's one enemy, uh, there's, until there's no enemies left on the screen, the enemies will keep spawning. Oh, that's really bad. So we'll have the situation right now in which I already killed the boss, but the enemies keep keep going in because there's there's still that one guy who still survived. That's really. And because this guy's still alive, he, he have he was alive for enough time for another monster to spawn in. Oh nice. So, but no, we're clear now. It's okay. Woo! On harder difficulties, that could be a bitch because you know it take it takes longer to kill them. I'm sure, but you're a pro, so we did it. Good job. Yeah. So this is this is why this is the hardest mission for Claire in the whole game, <laughs> this whole episode. But you know, besides that, so it's school game six out of ten. <laughs> too much water. Too much zombie. <laughs> you will get a chance to use that too much water joke pretty soon. Too many, too many pastels. <laughs> oh, look, the little girl. She's coming down. Look at her. <laughs> Ah, oh, so cute. Mm -hmm. And w with her teddy bear. Does she have the bear in, uh, in Barry's campaign? Nope. You don't need the bear when you got Barry. <laughs> He's a big bear. <laughs> oh. You don't need a small bear when you have a big bear. Oh. Uh, wow. She's just like, I've got this. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. She's like, it's fine, I'll deal with this. I, I find it strange that a little girl didn't even need to be told what, what was going on or what to do. She just assessed the situation and handled it. Yeah, she's really smart. Also, now we're either in the road or Silent Hill or a Tony Hawk level. <laughs> Maybe all of them at once. He saved me when I was little. Tara save guy. Tara save didn't get mm -hmm. I wonder who that could who that could be. Maybe it's Pedro. Be. Thanks, Pedro. Probably Pedro. It's probably Pedro. It's always Pedro. Pedro, the hero of us all. And now we're in CJ land. Amazing. Oh. Whew. Oh, look that's... at this helicopter. That's out of place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, this this. <laughs> Oversee this. <laughs> Suplex City, bitch. I really like Gabe. He's pretty, Gabe's a pretty cool guy, but it's gonna be his fault that we're, it's gonna crash, I bet. Yeah. Yo, that Overseer is basically glad of. Pretty much. Yeah, I'm sorry, Gabe. You're dead. Or you're a zombie. <laughs> you're gonna be a zombie helicopter that we can pile drive. What is this? The only cry two? <laughs> no, I was thinking of um, like him becoming a zombie helicopter and then pile driving him, him like Anarchy Reign style. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh! Someone stole the girl. Would cutting your hand off actually stop it? I don't know, but he's trying. I don't think it matters at this point. He's gonna die. Even if, even if he yeah, cut his hand off. Yeah, he's super dead. <laughs> he's super dead. You super died. No, not Gabe. He was cool. He was a cool guy. Rip in peace. I wish they used Gabe more than Pedro. They used Pedro more than Gabe, and I really like Gabe way more than Pedro. Honestly. Claire, we lost the girl. Not the girl. So we're trapped in this overseer's game. What's gonna happen? Maybe we'll go to this tower. This fucking tower of bullshit and evil. 
next time on Revelations 2, the Tower of S- Now we need to meet, see our score. It's sa- it, it's sa, or ass. Network connection has been lost. No, I need my leaderboard score. <laughs> I'm playing a fly. Of course you are. Scrub. I know, you're a good guy. Good guy, Oleg, not putting stuff in since 2014. Wait, no, it's 20. Fuck! <laughs> not putting stuff in could be taken in in different ways. I'm putting stuff in since 2015.